Welcome to Excel in a minute. A pivot table is an Excel tool that allows users to summarize data. And summarizing data includes totals that have two main types, the grand totals and the subtotals. In this video, we will show you how to work with grand totals in Excel's pivot tables by understanding its basics. Before we start working with grand totals, let us first understand what it is in a pivot table. Grand totals are the sums of the overall totals per column and per row. When working with grand totals, there are two things to remember. First, grand totals are updated automatically according to the items and values in the pivot table. Second, it can be enabled and disabled based on your preference. Now, let's see how these things work using this sample pivot table. Here, we have years as the row labels. The row grand totals are currently showing the totals from different sales representatives for all three years, including the overall grand total. Suppose you only want to show the grand totals for the year 2021. To do that, filter the row labels and select 2021. As you can see, the row of grand totals and the overall grand total have changed. The same goes when filtering the column labels. Now, let's try enabling and disabling grand totals. Suppose you only want to show the row of grand totals. Click anywhere inside the pivot table. Then go to the design tab. In the layout group, click grand totals. These are the four layout options for grand totals. You can either disable both grand totals for rows and columns. Enable them both or choose either only one of them to enable. And since we only want to show the row of grand totals, select on for columns only. And there you have it. It's definitely easier to use pivot tables when you know its basics, especially when working with grand totals. Watch our other videos to learn more about pivot tables. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.